All right, guys, today we're working on the uh, 07 Springdale 266 model. What we have going on here, guys, is we lost power. We lost power everywhere, um, and it kind of died slowly. It started with the lights flickering on and off with the generator plugged into the system. Um, and then I noticed that with it plugged into a generator or even plugged into shore power, I wasn't getting charging at all on the battery light. And then finally, I started playing with the converter, inverter, whatever you want to call this guy. And I uh, found these were super hot. You can see the board down there. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's brown. The fan started twitching on and off. All the telltale signs that uh, you would you would cycle the inverter and it'd come on for a second, and then go off. So, pretty convinced um, that this is the problem. I'm kind of just kicking the ball here. I'm not too good with electric, especially house electrical and this kind of setup. But um, yeah, anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and replace it. I went on Amazon. Um, I found that on the top of the panel here, I pulled the, these bolts off. Or the, the the screws and here's your model of converter inverter right here wf-8955 an with plastic which i'm guessing that's this but we just um couldn't find the an um which i couldn't find on this what exactly I thought, but I couldn't find the part number on here either guys now <laughs> this one i ordered off of amazon these guys had really good reviews on there. This one's a MFP, I think, or something. I can't remember exactly, but everybody online says this one will uh, plug in. And it has all the, the right connections. Everything is identical so far. As you can see, you have a black, a green, a white, a thick white, and a thick red. So I am going to... Well, I went down here and looked before off camera. I took these two screws out, pulled this out, and then on the bottom here... I took a flat blade screwdriver and pushed this tab down and then this just popped out so now we'll be able to get behind there oh before we even started this <laughs> you want to disconnect your shore power you don't want to have any shore power going to the system and you definitely don't want any 12 volt going i already had checked for the 110 and uh we're gonna be safe and we're gonna go ahead and disconnect your positive lead from the battery there is no power going anywhere now you are dead in the water now i'm gonna go ahead and take my picture i like to take pictures of everything all right so i know that one and that one's the one we're after i brought out a screwdriver let's go ahead and disconnect those suckers i want to be careful we don't want to break this board Okay, that one, and that one. Back those lugs out. <clears throat> there. Neg, negative. All right, go ahead and pull these down and out. Okay, that's out. We're gonna follow these up. Looks like we've got the white one goes right into there. Go ahead and disconnect that one. All right, green one comes up and hooks in over here to this guy. Go ahead and take the green one out. Okay. Just noticed a little bit of corrosion. Oh, no, we're good. I thought I saw corrosion. And I'm going to come over to this one. It wiggles back in here to that lug right there. Okay, we're going to go ahead. And... I'm no electrician, guys, but this is going to be pretty easy, I have a feeling. Okay. Ooh, I'm going to have to find a smaller flat blade to get in there. Alrighty, back with a smaller flat blade to get in there. Probably should grab some wire cutters too. Because this looks kind of challenging. Yeah. 
All right. That is how take the old inverter out. Now we're going to go ahead and just start where we left off here. We're going to go ahead and bring the new inverter. Okay, memes. As you can see, our new black wire we just took out. It's got the same setup. And it went... Just going to slide this unit up like this. And we're going to go through here. Went up through there. Keep this as close to possible as close as possible but i'm not going to go extremely the same routing that went in to that lug get that nice and tight get the bigger one in there nope that's all we're gonna get oh i got a little more and then that guy wire nutted in there. Green to green. Okay. Alright guys, so I am installed. The fan's got good clearance. It doesn't hit on anything over here. You want to make sure your fan spins freely. Um, got my board put back into place. I'm going to pull my picture up on my on my phone and make sure everything is where it was when uh, I started. I'm going to plug in the uh, 12 volts first and see if the lights come on. Well, no smoke. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. What? Oh, well, it's got to be on, guys. Okay. See this one? AC. Well, nothing happened. Not good. Not good at all, guys. I feel really stupid. I was hitting the... This one goes to nothing, guys. That is my overhead light. <laughs> uh, I'm not as sharp as a knife today. Maybe sharp as a butter knife. Okay, so before I lost everything in here, now everything's working, and I've got my battery back on line. So... That was it. I got my voltmeter out and I was checking things. I'm like, well, it's got 12 volts of power. Shit. Huh. Lack of sleep or something, man. I'm telling you what. This old guy's getting tired. All right, so now that we've done that and I've got the slide going out, I can actually get in here and clean. Uh, this is a rental trailer. Um, it's not going out anytime soon, but I'd like to get it, get it going. So it's, uh, ready to go at a moment's notice. It came back from a duck hunt last year and it hasn't been out since then. All right. Battery's still one thirds. Now that's the, that's the next check. Um, heater wasn't working. Kicked right on. So yeah, we're back in business. I haven't been able to check my mouse traps in a while. No mousey. 
I'm gonna set some today. Ooh, I got a mousey. Well, thanks for tuning into this episode. It was just a little inverter problem. Converter, inverter, converter. Look at that board. You can see the different colors on that board. So, yeah. All right. Till next time, guys. Oh, we should probably check 110. Let's go get a generator. Actually, we don't need a generator. We have power out here. All right, as soon as I plugged it in, guys, I heard the heater kick up higher as it was kicking down. And look at that, full power. Full power. The inverter kicked on. I hear the fan. Char. Oh, yeah. Microwave's on. We're good to go. Well, thanks for tuning in. Give this video a big thumbs up. Comments go down below. Hit that subscribe. And if I can find the link, I'll link that uh, inverter converter down below. Go pizza, start. Perfect. I'm going to have to replace that microwave. On that note, see you next time, guys.